With the ever-growing number of people who doubt the Apollo moon landings, it's difficult not to find the hoax conspiracy theory, or at least elements of it, appearing in popular culture. The latest Transformers movie is no exception. While it doesn't question the landing part of the Apollo story, it does propose a conspiracy of a different kind, as is hinted by its teaser trailer. Ready to go. We now have had confirmation of loss of signal from Apollo 11. Apollo 11 is on the far side of the moon. Neil, you are dark on the rock. Mission is a go. We have 21 minutes. So just how exactly does the moon landing conspiracy story play out in the new film? We went to the Sydney Supernova Pop Culture Expo to ask Julie White, who plays Sam Witwicky's mother in all three films. Well, I mean, I can't tell you. You have to go and see the movie, of course. But I think that there are many people who have always been very fascinated by that moon landing, that we were able to pull that off. And some people just can't believe that we were able to pull that off, or that there had to be more to it than there was. And um, the uh, screenwriters of Dark of the Moon have decided to, to uh, you know, posit a certain, a certain different motivation for the United States to have done that superhuman effort to get to the moon. Like, what was the big hurry? Why did we have to get there and beat the Russians? Maybe not. Our entire space race of the 1960s was in response to an event. If you breathe a word of what you've seen here, it will do time for treason. Another big question on every conspiracy theorist's lips is how the Transformers team managed to create their moon landing scenes and how their results compare to the Apollo moonwalk videos. When I was shooting, they had um, reproduced the, the moon landing on a sound stage, and it was really fascinating to see. It's not CGI. They had, you know, actually worked the thing in there to where it had the zero gravity feeling, and it was awesome, awesome thing to see. And the lunar landing module, and they have young guys, you know, playing the astronauts at the age they were, you know, back in the 60s when they, yeah. when they landed. Okay, can you give us some hints on how they pulled off those um, moon, moon uh, gravity scenes? You mentioned they had a moon set for this. You know, I, it, I'm telling you, it was so freaky to walk through there. Um, I don't know how they did it. Was it with wires? I mean, I'm not sure how they were doing it, but it was so bizarre. It looked so real that you couldn't believe that you could breathe the air. You know, you were like, well, aren't we on the moon? How come I can breathe? Um, it's really neat looking. There's a lot of care put into that and into recreating the control rooms of the 60s, the costumes, the, you know, hair and makeup to make everything really recreate that time period mm -hmm. of 68 or 69 when that was all happening. And that's, you know, up at the beginning of the movie, and it's pretty neat. Pretty hard, isn't it? That boat is going to roll. Man, that is hard. Finally, the million dollar question. Do you believe man really did walk on the moon? Yes, I really do. I really do. And I, I mean, I understand people who are like, no way, that just can't be real. Mm. But, yeah, I think we did do that. Okay. Okay, well just letting you know I'm on the fence that doesn't believe, but hey, we all can disagree. Okay. We, all can, we all agree to disagree. That's fine. I don't have anything against you, mate, so it's all... Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, no worries. It's difficult to find much info on the plot line, but from what can be gathered, the story starts off during the Apollo 11 landing, with Neil and Buzz making appearances. By no means is it implied that the moon landing is fake, but there is just one catch. They were not sent to the Sea of Tranquility, but rather, they were secretly sent to the far side of the moon to investigate the crash landing of a giant alien robot. Following Transformers, and coming up about a month later, is a related movie. 
Apollo 18. This one is about a secret additional Apollo mission that was carried out but later covered up due to, yep, more aliens on the moon. I can't help but notice a pattern here. Two Apollo themed movies appear shortly one after the other, and at a time when growing numbers are doubting the official story. Except the movies don't question whether the astronauts went to the moon, but instead reiterate the landing part of the story while adding a spooky twist to them. Is this just simple entertainment, or could it be subtle propaganda designed to reinforce the landings and throw doubters off the scent by suggesting the real reason for NASA's secrecy is that they need to cover up evidence of alien moon bases? Now to be fair, perhaps the filmmakers are being sincere. Transformers director Michael Bay has stated that he believes Apollo was real after consulting with Buzz Aldrin. On the other hand, head of Dimension Films, Bob Weinstein, denied in an interview that Apollo 18 was fictional. He claimed to have stumbled upon top secret archival footage that NASA had tried to cover up. We didn't shoot anything. We found it. Found, baby. And if that's not enough, the movie's official website contains links to what appear to be classified government memos supposedly approving the secret launch of Apollo 18. Albeit, with a lot of the text blacked out. I don't know if Weinstein was just joking, or was trying to market his product, or is raving mad. But regardless of which side of the fence the filmmakers are on, these movies are ultimately promoting something that's a lie. And quite frankly, the internet has enough alien moon-based disinformation without Hollywood jumping on that bandwagon. Now, where have we seen this kind of thing before? Oh yes, good old Richard Hoagland and Steve Troy. What is it with the moon and aliens anyway? Wouldn't a movie adaptation of James A. Mishner's version of Apollo 18 have been more realistic? In his science fiction book, the Apollo 18 crew were killed by a solar flare. The dangers of space radiation and the problems in adequately shielding the astronauts, even during a simple moonwalk, have been cited by shuttle astronaut James Van Hoften and his committee as the real reason why we are unable to, quote, get back to the moon. Returning to the trailers, from what can be seen, Transformers does a good job of reproducing the jumping and running motion as seen in the Apollo videos. Apollo 18 also does a good job of reproducing the original Apollo videos, including the grainy effects and off-colors. While Transformers opted for high definition, 3D and vibrant colors. The trailers appear to show a few mistakes though. However, director Michael Bay has stated that the teaser trailer has no final effects and that he wouldn't even call any shot close to 80% done. So if these shots are nowhere near complete, one can only imagine what the finished product must be like. And judging by the Apollo 18 trailer, the astronauts stumble across a dead Soviet cosmonaut and his LK lander. Hopefully, this will raise public awareness of the failed Soviet moon program, which involved thousands and thousands of Soviet scientists and engineers, and was successfully covered up for 30 years. Perhaps that will finally dispel the myth that secrets involving thousands of people could not be kept under wraps for so long. 